Looks good. Military planes returned to the air this weekend for the Bethpage Air Show. It was canceled last year because of the pandemic. Well, now pilots are ready to take flight. And CBS 2's Alice Gaynor joined a crew for a sky-high preview. World War II vintage. Most of them were built in uh, 1940, 1941. The Geico Skytypers Air Show team consists of mostly former military pilots. The flight squadron has six aircraft. They were built as trainers in World War II, uh, advanced trainer in the Navy, teach uh, students how to land on the aircraft carrier and also how to strafe and bomb and do tactics and formation. The team performs low altitude precision formation flying and, of course, skytyping. They let us come along for a flight. All suited up. Got my life preserver, my parachute. Hopefully we don't need them. Let's go. So grab here. Yeah, yeah, there. And you grab that hand. Adding to the thrill, the canopy can stay open. <laughs> we got a 18-minute air show routine, and uh, we do some uh, World War II tactics. We show like a dogfight, some strafing, uh, and then we do uh, draw a heart. You know, we do some exploding kind of maneuvers. <laughs> It goes about 165, 170 in a straight line, and then uh, you can dive it. it. It starts going really quick because it's heavy. Go up about 240. Oh, we felt it. My pilot, Chris Orr, says attending an air show when he was a child was life changing. My dad brought me to an air show, and I grew up and became a Navy fighter pilot. He's hoping to inspire future generations as well as pay homage to the greatest generation. In Farmingdale, Long Island, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. Alice looks right at home there. The <laughs> Beth Page Air Show takes place Saturday and Sunday from 10 until 3 p.m. at Jones Beach, Jones Beach State Park. I know. We